Hey guys, so today I am doing a photo challenge with my friend Chase. So we're each gonna pick a location and use the same model, but we can only use iPhones to shoot it. And then at the end, I'm doing an Instagram poll to see who won. So stay tuned to see like who is the better photographer in this challenge. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going first and I picked this location. It's the LACMA urban light structure thing. You've definitely seen it on Instagram before. So I'm using portrait mode because I feel like that'll look most like a DSLR and a prism to um, reflect the light, make it look cool. And this is Adrian, the model. Just pose randomly for a bit and I'll like test up some shots. So for these shots, I noticed when you put the iPhone in portrait mode, the prism actually looked very similar to if you're using a DSLR. Yeah, stay like that. Keep your face at like that angle, kind of. I hadn't used portrait mode a lot before this shoot, honestly, because I thought it seemed kind of gimmicky, but I was really impressed with it. The first few shots I got actually looked great. Ooh, okay, and then look to the camera. These actually look cool. Oh yeah, smile again, that was good. Here's how the first few turned out with a little bit of editing. Okay, so for this shot, normally I would avoid like harsh direct lighting like this, but I think it'll actually look really cool when it's edited. And I like um, the rows of lights in the background. I feel like that looks really cool. It's like a nice leading line. And I'm still using portrait mode for this also. So then I tried to use the prism to get the rainbow effect on Adrian. I don't know where it's at. It's gotta be like direct sun, huh? The location of the sun made it so we could really only get this on the ground, but it still turned out pretty cool. Okay, yeah, there's a little. It's weirdly like dim. Oh, there it is. There, oh, yep, here we go. It's kind of a cool angle too. Overall, this shot I think is the best, and this is the one I'm choosing as my best shot to compete against Chase. All right, so Shelby just went, we're at LACMA. This is her location choice. I've shot here a couple times before, but I haven't really done that many photos, mainly did videos, so I'm gonna try out some new ideas. Leaning, yeah, leaning straight up because it's like perfectly dead center with the rest of the thing, yeah. Yeah, sunglasses, and even just like touch the edge of the sunglasses and like look out in the wet. Chase didn't go for the prism or any fancy props or anything like that, but for all the photos, he also shot in portrait mode. So it's gonna get that nice blurred out background kind of look. Do the dot looking down again, like towards me, yeah. And hands through your hair. Okay, dope, that'll be chilling. Um, Shades off this time, I think, yeah. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, yeah, we'll do a couple, try leaning back like that, yeah, like that. That's awesome. You wanna try to get something in the reflection, my guys? Oh yeah, wait, maybe we can get LACMA in the reflection. I can't tell if I can see it or not. It's like kinda. Ready, set, go. He also did some walking shots, which I thought was really smart because it looks so much more natural than just posing. Do like just the left hand tip and kind of tilt your head to the right and like look back. Yeah, like and then look like down towards the camera. You can't do a burst when you're using portrait mode, so it's a little bit more difficult. Here's the photo that Chase chose as his best one from the shoot. So stay till the end if you want to see who was voted the winner. Okay, so this is the next location. So Chase picked this one. I feel like we could do some really cool stuff with like the red and the silver and like all the angles, it really shouldn't be too hard. All right, so I got some different props this time to try out. I don't know if these Firefly lights are really gonna work that well during the day, but I feel like they could look cool if they did. Hopefully it works. Let's see, okay. Yeah, hold it up, because I feel like they could look cool. So similar to the prism, I was really impressed how when we use portrait mode, you get that same effect that we can with the DSLR. So with this one, we we're able to get a bokeh effect. So the Firefly lights that were closer to the iPhone lens were much more blurred. They just look like little orbs of light. And when you normally use an iPhone just on the classic photo mode, you don't really get that effect so much. They didn't reflect too well into the clear glasses though. I think that was more likely because it was so bright outside. So there's a bunch of things reflecting into them. Let's go up by this silver thing, like kind of lean against it. I shot some photos with the textured red background, but I also really like the look of this reflective piece of metal. Go down a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Duh. If we can. So it's like all silver. It just made for a really clean look. We can focus on just the firefly lights and how those look really cool. Look at the, hold the coke up and like look at it kind of, yeah. The things I do for a photo on the disgusting ground of LA. Yeah, stay like that. For Chase's photo, they got pretty creative and went further away from the building. Something I didn't even think to do, but made for some pretty cool photos. Yeah, you could even like hang off towards the street, like holding on with your like right hand. Yeah, like that. Bring your, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay, dope. Let me try to get a closer one. Right? 
Yeah, and then cross your left leg kind of over your right one like that. Yeah. With your hand on your face, that's dope. Then they went over to this all red part of the building, and you guys, these photos turned out so cool. I love the look of the all red background, especially with the Coke bottle. They look like, yeah, like down at it, yeah. Tilt your head like a little farther down. What? Tilt your head like a little farther down. Yeah, just like a little bit up. Yeah, like right there. I wish I thought of this one. Good job, Chase. Definitely a cool photo. So I'm gonna think of one more thing, maybe. It's just really hard to think right now. And then they went for a few more shots with the building. The iPhone X holds up very nicely in these. Look like we're right at, yeah. So the results are in. I did an Instagram poll. It's only been up for like 30 minutes, but I feel like that's long enough to get some votes in. So here's the photo that I went with and thought was the best one. I just thought it looked really cool with the prism and all that. Like, good job, iPhone. Really good job. And here's the photo that Chase went with. It's like a little bit different than mine, so we'll see what style Instagram likes better. So for the first one, photo one, 47%. That's my photo. Photo two, 53%. It's so close, but Chase won this one. Good job, Chase. All right, so we got Chase on the line here. Okay, so when I checked it, you were winning on the first one, and okay. you're still winning. Let's go. One out of two. Okay, okay, let's move on to the next one, though. Okay, all right, let's check out the next one. Here is the one that I went with. It's very Brandon Wolfel inspired, I think is how you say his name. Um, so shout out to him. He's like the greatest Instagram photographer out there. So yeah, I just wanted to try out that style for this. Um, I thought it looked really cool. And here is the one that Chase went with. I actually think this one looks so good. It looks like a Coke ad. Even though I like mine, like I kind of like his better. <laughs> but let's see what Instagram thinks. So we've had it up for a bit. Oh yeah, this was like, no question, 65% to 35%. So I lost both of them. I quit making videos, I'm done. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna FaceTime Chase <laughs> and tell him. The next one, you also won, like by a lot. <laughs> so for winning, you get a 1DX. Just kidding. <laughs> So yeah, check out Chase's channel, you guys. I'll have it linked down below. So that's the video. I guess I'm not as good as I thought I was at taking photos. No, but I actually was really impressed with the iPhone um, for this challenge, the iPhone X portrait mode. Really good. That's it for this video. Let me know if you guys want more videos like this using like different kinds of cameras or like film cameras. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.